speaking of Bono, sorry, going off of Live Aid, Dave, you can you can go back, but I, the, there's a photo on your website of Bono that looks like it was taken during October, during the October, sometime from the October, the album release of October, because it looks like it could be Bono on the album cover. Is that, do you know which one I'm talking about? Well, there are, no, it's hard to be, to be exact because... I mean, I'm pretty sure it was December 82. Uh, I was about to I, say it's 82. It had to be 82. Yeah, so I was at that gig, and this was for Smash Hits as well. I was at that gig at the Maceford Leisure Centre in Dublin, uh, in, in Belfast the week before Christmas in 82. Um, crazy gig. It was. I always thought it was a, uh, a school, a school gymnasium, but it was a leisure centre. But I just remember, like, you remember you'd have climbing frames? People were on the climbing frames, on the ropes that you'd, you know, climbing ropes, yeah. up in the rafters. I just remember it being crazy. Like they have no fire regulations here. It's Ireland, I guess. So there's you know four thousand people in a place that holds like two hundred people, and <laughs> people are like on anything they can be on, and everyone's smoking. And and there was I'm trying to shoot a band, and there's like brown stuff dripping on us, which I kind of assumed was nicotine or you know tobacco goo, because there were so many people smoking, and it was it was so hot and so much condensation. It was just. <clears throat> forming and just kind of what is this brown stuff that's falling on us but it was a crazy gig and it's famous apparently in U2 circles because it was when he first played I'm gonna have to stop right there January the 6th committee issues subpoena for the former guy the Orange Menace that's a very noticeable moment in our history just happening right now just as an aside oh excellent and if I may say so about fucking time too anyway moving right on so Bono um, he said something to the effect of, you know, we got this song Sunday, Bloody Sunday, and if you don't want us to play it, we won't play it and we'll never play it here again. And this was during the Troubles. I mean, there were soldiers on the street on the way into the gig and everything, and people wanted him to play it, and he played it, and he climbed up on the white flag. I have a picture of that as well. That was the first time he did that, I think. And it was either the first time he played it in Belfast or the first time he played it in Ireland in general. Um, so you two fans know that gig really well. And we were backstage, we were hanging out. There were f lots of girls on the stage came in, and Bono sat on the stage singing and then signed autographs backstage and got to do that. And then we rode in the minivan. I mean, I think it was Dave Rimmer, the journalist. Yeah, pretty sure. We drove in the minivan with you two back to Dublin and we stopped on the way on the M1. They have the Irish M1. I saw this old barn and said, can we stop there? And we took all these pictures at this, this kind of rickety old barn which was one of my favorite photo shoots of all time. I don't think I did a great job with my exposures because it was really bright. So some of them are kind of burnt out. Um, you know, there's a lot of shade and really bright late afternoon sunlight, but I love the colors, especially on the color ones. Bono was in this kind of golden light. But I do remember that in the, in the van, people asked me, you know, what was he like? Did you, how did you get on with him? I don't think we hit it off because I remember that I just wanted to talk politics like lefty politics and he just wanted to talk about God. So we didn't, 